Okay, we are back, and the big question in the last couple of weeks, or the popular one, has been how do you get that sharp edge at the bottom of your mugs or cups? And then, wow, I seem to waste so much clay when I throw. So, um, that obviously prompted us to create something, so we're going to go back in the studio and... I'm titling this, It's Hip to Be Square at the Bottom of Your Mug. So hang on and we'll bring up the video. All right, we're back in the studio again. And the question is, how do you make nice, flat, square-shaped cup bottoms? So, standard practice, put this in the middle. I don't use bats very often, so I put it on the wheel head. Seal this tightly to the wheel head. So now water can't get under there. So now when I put my water on there, yeah, I'm less likely to have this piece of clay fly off. So this clay has been used for three demonstrations, so we're going to see how it goes. It's super soft. Um, we'll talk about centering another day, but the hardest part is to get the very bottom centered. Especially for me, I can't hold my fingers down there. So most of you probably already know you're going to press down and be really steady. Uh, the only problem is it's really hard to um, get to this very bottom. So that's often the place where it's the least centered, and that affects you in a couple ways. So find the middle. You know, you could make a, a cone like that, and it'll be self-centering. And then open up however you open up, uh, hopefully nice and steady. And hopefully your clay has a little more body to it than this does. It's been used now for three straight demonstrations. And it's pretty mushy. So we have it open. And let me make this a little more visible. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. Probably lose my center. So this is 12 ounces of clay. And you should be able to make a 12-ounce mug. That's everything I've been told. And if you've not watched the uh, uh, the little video about compression, that's pretty soft. Uh, go ahead and do that. You know, the basis for that whole thing is compress from outside to in. And... Uh, to do that, we establish a nice flat section. I'll try to keep my head out of the camera here along the side. So I've got about a quarter inch remaining, which is what I like. Probably no more for a mug because I don't like to trim much. And I'm going to try and make a nice flat spot. And then for our compression technique, we're going to work out to in. You can see the center uh, push up a little bit, and um, now we know we've made this clay the same density all the way throughout, as opposed to when I was stretching it out. You know, I'm pulling it away from the center, so I'm pulling, physically pulling the clay particles away from the middle, which means the middle's not as dense. And then you all know now, if you watch that video, that you want it to be as dense so that it's just as strong and it goes a long way to stopping us cracks. Now, if you have super soft clay like this, it's really hard to get a very sharp edge. So if I want a super sharp edge item, now that I know my clay is strong uh, and all the same density, I may square off that edge inside with a... Uh, my wooden rib, and then 
you know, pulling, and we'll, you know, if I can give you some good advice on pulling, this stuff kind of goes up on its own, as long as you're moving inward, but uh, this is not going to be on pulling. But we're going to raise this and thin it out enough so we can cut it and then show you that we have a fairly square edge. And if you're new, this looks tough. It's not. It's super easy. Um, I don't have all my tools here, but at some point, I need enough skill to uh, pull as much as I can from the bottom. And as I said, this is super soft stuff. So if I lose it, I lose it. Well, that's pretty uniform. I probably don't have, for my skill level, I probably don't have any more skill to do any more with it. So now I'm going to just go down with a very flat set of fingers right into that edge. And here's an easy way. I'm going to cut away whatever excess I can't use. And the better I get, the more of that I get to use up. And I don't have my sponge on a stick, so I'm going to have to make a mess of this. Um, and now I could look, you know, is it pretty uniform in thickness? I can take my rib and again cut this straight down. And I can use my ribs to make the rest of this look good. What do I have here? So let's do a complete one with this back in order. Compress that a little bit. I can rib up the side and even this out. I've been really pretty... Um, worried about pulling this too tall because this is clay like I say it's just the third time the charm it's been pulled several times now and then just wrapped up in a ball and reused so it's super super soft which also makes it super easy to work with by the way but it also makes it super dangerous to do something like that so 12 ounces of clay easily makes a 12 ounce mug. Even in porcelain, that shrinks 15%. And then to make this smooth on the inside, I can take a rib and do whatever I want. And let's see, this is going to be a coffee cup, so let's give it some kind of shape. And I'll just do that with my fingers real quick. Coffee cups always look nicer when they're shapely. And not the best cup we've ever made. But uh, yeah, put a handle on it, it'll probably look nice. So the whole point was I'm trying not to wreck this too much. Try and make a squarish bottom. Uh, so one, it's not so heavy down there. And uh, I don't know. We probably did okay. Not too bad. For super soft clay, fairly square. I didn't waste a lot of clay. Um, so I'd be pretty happy with that. And I could rib it, make it a real nice shape. And it's pretty even. So there's not a whole lot to it. You can establish the squarish bottom early on uh, when you compress it. And, um, you know, it's nice and compressed. I mean, that's a very uniform um, compressed piece. So I would never expect that to crack. And I probably could dry it pretty quickly and finish my mug. So that is the square-ish cornered bottom, for lack of better words. Um, 
I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, we're back. Um, looks a lot harder than it is. A little practice. It's easy to get that clay up off the bottom. Uh, if you want a squarish, hard-cornered uh, bottom for your mug or tumbler, uh, or uh, let's see, what do we have in a picture? Maybe your spaghetti container. Um, now you can do it, or now you can practice. So uh, make a bunch of cool gifts for everybody, and uh, keep learning.